I'm about to tell you is the most important message you'll ever hear in your lifetime. You probably, for those who have heard this before, well, it doesn't hurt to tell you about it once more, especially if you haven't made that very important decision. It is about the gospel of Christ. When you die today, where will you go? It's a straightforward question. One that um, you need to face sooner or later. Everybody dies. So some of you might say that, I don't know, it's up to the Lord. Hopefully heaven. Do you know that you can be sure right here and right now? It's while you are alive that you have to make that very important decision. Because when you die, it's either you go to heaven or hell. And hell is real. Because when uh, when Adam and Eve disobeyed uh, the Lord, then uh, death became real. And uh, so the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, all the smart or seemingly smart, intelligent people in the world, all the religion, all the riches in the world, um, the devil uses uh, these things, uses things to get your focus away from the most important thing, and that is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, especially for this age of church age. The gospel, what is it? That the Lord Jesus Christ lived on this earth for 33 and a half years. He lived without sin. He died, was crucified, was buried, and he rose again on the third day. Now, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart this gospel of truth, then you shall be saved. So, I'm going to help you today. If you want to accept the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart as your personal Savior, let's say this prayer with me. Confess it in your mouth and believe in your heart. Okay? Dear God, thank you for your son Jesus. Thank you that he died, shed his blood so that my sins can be washed away. I accept him into my heart as my personal Savior. This is my prayer in the Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. For those who accepted him, welcome to the church. We are a body of believers who worship him in spirit and in truth. Now for your growth, you have to read your Bible every day and pray. Pray every day. Okay? Find a Bible-believing church. Thank you, and you have a blessed day ahead of you.